dear friend welcome to the cameroon baptist convention channel i'm your friend i'm pastor tanjan rudolph and it is a blessing for me to share god's word with you today have you ever wondered why there's so much suffering so much pain so much evil corruption hatred and all the things that you can think of the vices that you can think of the bible actually gives us an answer the bible actually tells us that God created all things so good, so beautiful, and created man, gave man dominion and control to enjoy all these things, and gave man a command that from every tree of the garden, Adam, who was the first man, will be able to eat. But from the tree that is in the middle of the garden, he shall not eat from that tree. That the day he, he will eat from that tree, he will surely die. You can see this in Genesis chapter 2, verse 16 to 17. And the Bible tells us in Genesis chapter 3 that the serpent, the tempter, the devil, came and deceived man to sin against God by going against the commands of God. And at that act of disobedience, that singular act of disobedience brought sin into the world, brought death into the world, brought all the forms of suffering into the world. And from that hour, when God was declaring punishment on man for the sin that man has committed, God actually also made a promise that he will bring a seed from the woman, a particular seed who will destroy the works of the devil, who will put an end, who will destroy all the works of the devil, and he will restore all that God had created back to what it was. One of the consequences of man's disobedience was that the relationship between man and God was destroyed, was ruined. The relationship between man and fellow man and the woman was ruined. The relationship between man and nature was ruined. And God promised that he was going to restore, that he is, was going to send a seed who will come and bring salvation and redeem humanity. And from that story, we see how God continued to be faithful with this promise. He continued to be faithful with this promise to Abraham. He told Abraham that he will make him a blessing and from him all the nations of the world will be blessed. And we see how God preserved Israel as a nation and he kept Israel for himself. And through Israel, from the line of David, from the family of Judah, God actually brought Jesus. And the Bible tells us that at the fullness of time, Christ was born to destroy, to put an end to all that the devil had, had caused in God's creation. So dear friend, the Bible makes it clear that we have an inherent nature of sin. It says in Romans 3, 23, that all have sinned. Everyone, even a newborn baby, that baby has a nature of sin. And because of this sin, the Bible says that God's anger is going to be revealed, is going to be poured out on humanity. So Jesus Christ has come as the one to reconcile us back to God. And he did this by dying on the cross, suffering in our place, dying the death that we deserve. He died in our place. He was buried. And on the third day, he rose from the dead, showing that he had victory over sin. He had victory over the grave. He had victory over death. And this is an assurance to all that believe in him. This call is a call unto restoration. So I'm calling you this day, listening to me, that are you reconciled with God? Have you come back to God through Jesus Christ, accepting that the sacrifice that Jesus gave by shedding his blood on the cross of Calvary is the only way that you can become reconciled back to God? Did you accept this truth and have you decided to submit yourself to serving God as your only Lord and Savior. I'm inviting you that if you have not done so, the Bible makes it clear that when Jesus shall come again, he shall restore all things and he will reign in a kingdom that there will be no more sin, there will be no more death, there will be no more condemnation. And the Bible says that if you want to become a child of God, we actually need to be born again. In John chapter 3 verse 5, we see that. It says, unless a man is born again by the Spirit of God, he cannot become a child of God. 
So if you have not surrendered to Jesus, if you are not seeking him at this time, if you are not following him, you will not be part of that kingdom. So you can become a child of God today. It is easy. John chapter 1 verse 12 says, To those who believe in him, to those who receive him, he gave them the right to become children of God. All you need to do is to believe in God so strong in your heart that Jesus is the only one who can take away your sins and make you a child of God. And you take a commitment to live the rest of your life for him. You can see anyone who is a Christian that you know is a faithful Christian. You can go to a church. You can talk with a pastor. You can use our contacts on this website. And we are going to assist you to grow in your new faith in the Lord Jesus. I want you to consider this message I've shared with you. And let us pray together. God bless you. Thank you, great God and Father, for those that have listened to your word. I pray your word will be, will convict their heart, O oh God. And your word, O oh God, will draw them closer to you. That, Lord, they will be your children and they will live lives that bring glory to you. We pray all this in Jesus' most precious name. Amen.